Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will show you how to upload files into SharePoint. I've already created a document library with metadata around these CVs, and I have created a script to get the metadata information from the file system. If you haven't seen the previous demos in this series, then please do so, and that will explain exactly what I'm doing. But now let's get into the actual uploading of the files. So let's uh, do that and add PNP file. There we go, file, and we're going to have the path. That's going to be the current file, CV file. We're going to get a full name, that is the path. That's what we want. And where we're going to upload that is in the folder, and we call that CVs, like that. Uh, and then we're going to set all the values. And the values needs to be a dictionary object like that. And we could be, do that all in the string after, but for more readability, I'm going to do it in another variable up here first. So we're going to declare that variable, the CV values equals, and just paste in that. And then we're just going to go through and add all the values that we want to put. So we will put the CV values plus equals, that means that we're adding another key value pair, like that, to that array. And then we're going to put, first of all, let's put the title in. It's always a good thing. Title equals, let's just put the base name there. That is the name without the extension. So that's the first one. Then we're just going to keep doing this a couple of times more. So then we want the other columns. So we want the CV decision. Let's see if I can spell that, CV decision. There we go, and that's gonna be the, the decision that we already read up there. The CV object decision, there we go. And then we have the first name. And that's gonna be again, the CV object. That's, that's what we're gonna be working on from now on. Now I'm working with the file. And you might think that's why did he do first read into an object? Why did you work with this whole class bit? Well, you might have a point there. It might not be necessary, but I do like to split my work into different parts. So reading things into a class, it's really useful sometimes. So if you like it, then good. If you don't, then just skip that part and go directly into the values here. That works also. CV last name. Once so here is the uh, first name there, and there is the last name, and finally we have the department there. CV department. Let's try this now. So I was very meticulous when I created this document library to make sure that all the metadata, all the columns that I created had consistent and rememberable, for me at least, internal names. So you see the department is indeed called CV department. So that's very important. There you go, CV department, you see the internal name, because that's what you need to use when you're working with PowerShell. All right, I think that is it. Let's run it here and see if this works as it should. Run. Great. Now we had something wrong there. Ah, right, I didn't finish it. I didn't put the values in there. Of course, I do need to do that also. CV values. Try it again. Let's try it so we can see a bit more there. Run that. There we go. Now it's uploading. Nope. See. F department, right, that's, I misspelled it. CV department, of course, is the way it's supposed to be. Let's try it again. Uh, let's stop that so we don't get the double right here. We got the double, uh, we can take away the right host. And now you 
can see that it actually is working. It's just not as pretty as I would like it. And now we see it is uploading those files. And we need to show the columns also. Forgot to save that last time. Show hide columns. First name, last name, department, and decision. Let's and we can take away the other ones for now. Apply. There we go. They're being added. Now we'll just go ahead and save that view also. Save view. And then we take away those so that we don't get doubles. Delete. All right, I think we are good to go. Let's run this bit here. There we go, it's starting to upload the files. Let's refresh this here. And now we're getting the decision, the first name, the last name, and the department, everything filled out. All right, so that concludes this demo. I might have gone a little bit overboard with the class there. I could have skipped that, but I wanted to split up the, my work so I knew I got the file information first and then I did the uploading last. So I hope you think this was worth it. Thank you for watching this demo.